I now can joke and say to other runners that I didn't lose any toenails, but I nearly lost my life. And I say that now while I'm healthy out of hospital. I've decided to tell you guys about my experience in running comrades and how it has changed my life completely. 28 days to go to comrades, 27 days to go. Things are getting real. Here's my calendar on the fridge. We are 26 days out from comrades, 25 days to go to comrades, 23 days to go doing a 20k I'm already on 18 and I'm feeling good it's 19 days to come right um the nerves are definitely kicking in but I do think that's a good thing and we started this morning on the Durban promenade running um 20 kilometers with the girls and now my husband is taking me to lunch 18 days to go to comrades. Today has been such a busy day. Woke up early, did a slow 10K, went to work, went to gym and just stretched out all the legs. Then let's come home and cook and get ready for tomorrow. 15 days to go to comrades. Out here with fun. <laughs> we are doing a 20K run. Nice and easy on the legs. We're feeling good. Hang yeah. up. I'm just so excited to be out here with my friend. Exactly two weeks from now, I will be on the road ending this week off on 101 kilometers, which is nothing too serious. All the training is done. So now it's just maintaining, making sure the body and the mind is in the right place. Today's just been a really good day so far, and I'm hoping this carries on for the next two weeks. It's, it's very hard. It's very hard to accept that I've been so careful throughout the whole training block and landing up being sick now with one week to go is extremely hard to accept. Um, but I have to just follow my heart and my heart tells me to run, so I'm going to run. Today we're out Good. doing my first run in I think two weeks. Morning. Morning. Checking everything in. We're 99, literally. So this is it. Tomorrow is the day. On the start line, everything is just your feelings are just absolutely unreal. You're feeling self-doubt, you're feeling energized to go, you're singing the astronaut anthem, you're singing the chants of fire, what's it called? The chariots of fire, <laughs> you're singing the chariots of fire. Everyone is absolutely equals and everyone is just so proud of everyone standing there and you're like, I'm gonna see at the finish and well done. You haven't even started, but just well done for even just getting here. I think that just goes to talk, it uh, goes to show a lot about the human race because no matter who you are, how old you are, to stand on that start line, it takes a big chunk of your personality to even believe in yourself that you can even just stand there in the first place. Just past the 10k mark. <laughs> Plenty more to go. <laughs> some bonding time. Some friends, some enemies. <laughs> 20 k's in. Feeling good. The spirit is high. It has to feel good. We're making it feel good. <laughs> yep. The day's only just begun. <laughs> 42 kilometers to go. My God. This is hectic. But we carry on going. <sighs> 62 kilometers in. 
very, very sore. But we gotta just keep pushing. Plenty of hype. kilometers in got the home straight feeling good but sore and I just can't wait to get through the finish line oh. yeah this is amazing this is why I absolutely love running We needed it. We needed it at the finish. When we got to probably the last stop, which was 800 meters from the finish, just outside the stadium, Lauren said to me, I'm absolutely finished. So I said to her, well, you know, you got 800 meters left, just slug it out to the finish. We'll cross the bridges when we need to and we'll sort it out when you finish. This is no joke. day um, I don't remember much of comrades day but I remember walking up the stadium looking back at the finish line and after that I was in hospital and that's when everything just went haywire it's two o'clock in the morning the morning after comrades and we are getting some fluids because we can't keep fluids down every two hours we're hugging the toilet <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we will be better soon being in hospital was literally the worst thing of my life. I've never been so broken, so weak, just not knowing what is gonna happen that afternoon or the next day. I, all I would do is just watch the clock. I would wait for visiting hours. I'll, I'd be like, okay, my people are coming now. And I knew my mood was changing when I had to leave because I just didn't want my people to leave my bed. Um, it was just the most horrible experience of my life and it got to a point where I actually said to my mom it's okay just tell everyone it's fine I, I can't fight anymore and that's when I just knew I literally I cannot fight another day can I get in and out of bed on my own I'm dripped up and I'm drugged up yeah that that was such a bad space i've never been in i don't wish it upon anyone to be in at such a low but 
I'm just so glad to be this side of the fence and recovering and just appreciating literally the small things in life. I, yeah, if there's one thing I could definitely tell people is don't take anything for granted. It, life is just so bloody short.